And so clearly we can see what is going on. But again, why did this process fail? Mm -hmm. There's only one reason it failed, and that is because Dino Milai's case of recall was because that had led him to be a fraudulent senator. But the challenge is a fraudulent process was now being used to remove an alleged fraudulent. Hmm. So were you able to establish, okay, because of the, the total number of petitions greater than well, the total number of votes yes, actually so, cast to put them in there? Exactly. You know, Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, says from error to error, we get to know the truth. In an election again in Kogi West, where less than 180,000 people came out to vote, we now have a recall process that has more than 180,000 people. Again, Dino Milai, in the last election that brought him in, he scored less than 50,000 votes in Kogi West. So he scored less than 50,000 votes. 180,000 people have come out. So what you have today is all, more than the people that voted for Dino, more than all the people that opposed Dino have signed a petition. So even if you combine the, those who opposed him, those who voted for him... And those who opposed him, still not still up, to, get still, up to this. So you you yeah. still wouldn't get the, those figures that have signed the petition. So clearly, Dino Milai is now sitting with the electoral legends of Papa Doc, of Charles D. B. King, mm -hmm. and, um, and the likes. So those are the concerns that we have today. Mm -hmm. Valid concerns. But as it's turned out now, do you think that these figures, will they in any way serve as a lesson? Or do you think that politicians will see, having seen this, we will go again and see what we can do to see how we can have our way? So we need to ask ourselves, for instance, a senator was voted for. The process that the constitution allows you to recall the senator, but the president was voted for as well. Can you recall the president? Can you recall your vice president? Can you recall your governor? Even though there are processes to, yeah. to go through, if no, you have those to go ones that way. Uh, via impeachment. Well, you get it, so but two processes too. Uh, let me raise these questions. So, in terms of equality, you look at all these electoral offices that requires that the only way you can get in there is through the ballot box. However leaving that office based on whatever reasons um, isn't the same for everyone. In fact, the interesting thing is it's now four decades past two centuries mm -hmm. since the United States gained independence. How many senators have been recalled in the United States, the country where we, we've copied our um, constitution from? Today's evidence shows no senator has been recalled in the U.S. But again, no senator has been recalled in the U.S. because their process doesn't even allow you to recall a senator. The U.S. Constitution does not have the process for recalling a senator. Oh, yes, a senator can be impeached. A senator can be expelled. But a senator cannot be impeached. Uh, Some says that's an apology after the recall <laughs> process. Well, we'll be back in a moment and conclude this. Don't go away. Welcome back. It's our concluding moments. But if we could just refer to some items, because, you know, what about those who may be of the impression that, well, they haven't heard any official communication from any quarters that, or those relevant agencies, that the process was a judge fraudulent, or to allege or say that the governor is behind his recall? So today we cannot conclude that the governor of Kogi State, Yaya Belo, is behind his recall. What we can conclude is there's a lot of tension between the governor of Kogi State and Dino Milai. And we can also easily conclude, based on the evidence that we have, that the governor of Kogi State is the youngest governor, and only Dino Milai and Sani, Sani Mohammed in the House of Reps are 44. So Dino Milai is the youngest, excluding one other senator, Sani Mohammed, in the Senate. Governor Yaya Belo is the youngest governor as well. Neither can we also conclude that the election or the recall process was fraudulent, but we can conclude that the recall process was incredible. And these are the three reasons why we can conclude the election 
process was incredible. Between Dino Melaye and Smart Adeyemi, during the senatorial election, they gathered less than 80,000 votes. This petition was signed by over 180,000 people. We can conclude that this recall process was incredible because the election that brought in Dino Melaye is called less than 50,000 votes. This petition was signed by over 180,000 people. We can conclude that this election might not, this recall process might not be fraudulent or incredible because let's look at what happened within the local governments. Lokoja, for instance, 61% of the people that were registered in Lokoja signed the petition. However, only 6% got verified. So you wonder that so many people wanted him out. 61% of those in Lokoja signed the petition. And on verification day, only 6% were verified. Indeed, from INEX results, out of all the local governments, the only local government that scored 19%, whereby 19% of those that signed the petition were verified, was Yagba East. None of the local governments did you get up to half of those that signed the petition being verified. None got up to 40%. None got up to 30%. The highest was Yagba East, whereby only 19% of those that signed the petition uh, came for verification. And so we should remember in the final analysis, yeah. just as Tom Sherwood said, that it's not voting that is democracy, it's the counting. And so how do we count our votes? And also to say, for instance, now, from those votes counted that got him in, it doesn't take much to become a senator. Perhaps you should throw in your hat. No, no, no. You've got more followers than you. I think you should. You should make that decision, Chamberlain. To get elected even from the phone before before going out to the field. Well, I got that point, guys. Very. What a day it's been, and what a week as well. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week. I'm Chamberlain. Ustar. I'm Gimba Omar. And goodbye from Abuja. I wish you a wonderful weekend ahead. I am a jury in Galali. Views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.